Fantic Portable Power Station. It's a great device to have during a power outage to keep all my smaller electronics charged. And it also has a built-in flashlight. It's pretty bright. It takes about two watts of power and it, I can also increase its brightness and which doubled the power out, output. And I get 47.2 hours of runtime and 30 seven fluctuates and you can see this is a really nice large screen readout that has output input information and its runtime and charging time uh, dc ac output control are mapped to these two buttons and let's take a look it can also it can also supply power to my macbook pro here and um, it also, well, another thing, you may miss this, it actually, uh, the Type-C doubles as an input as well, 60 watts input, with the included 90 watt charger. These two ports can be used for recharging in the same time, so, which brings down the uh, charging hours to about 2.5 hours to full recharge. And um, this is a 90 watts plus the 60 watts. Theoretically, I can get um, 150 watts out of it. Let's take a look. You can also see the input wattage here. And I, additionally, I will plug in another USB-C 100 watts charger. Here, it will probably hit 90 watts and we will also do a full charging test as well uh, yeah let's do this it's, it's gonna be very interesting I'm, I'm fascinated by all these numbers you can see the charging hours is 1.6 hours at 82 watts 92 here so which means there's uh, some efficiency loss 10 watts loss all right Let's plug in another USB-C cable from my watch charger. 63% and we got uh, 140 watts of input and it can be used when charging. So if you have a more recent iPhone uh, 3, use this, the other USB port, USB-C port, which is rated at five volts, three amps. So that's, 15 watts of maximum charging speed for the iPhone. So I enable the DC port. You can see it is getting recharged, uh, getting uh, charged and discharging at the same time. I can plug in more devices like the, the QC3 USB-A port and uh, plug in another GoPro. So the uh, DC output would increase around 21 watts okay so um, yeah it will slightly offset that input power so if I unplug it and try this one on my MacBook Pro 16 inch right here you will see that I'm gonna unplug all the the rest of the USB cables the output is gonna be 60 watts i bet this thing can take 100 watts power delivery usb-c to usb-c input that's exactly the rated uh, 60 watts hour uh, watts power from the usb-c port on the left so keep in mind the one on the right is only rated for 5 volts one, 3 amps And also I got the AC, two AC receptacles on the right side. The fan would kick in as soon as that um, AC port is enabled. Theoretically, I can uh, further expand all the ports using the 12 volts car socket and by plugging in another um, car charger to have more USB ports. And in the back, there's a US, there's a DC input and an Anderson input. That Anderson port, Anderson port is uh, really uh, more frequently used for a solar panel charging. 
it's more like an industrial standard. And the flashlight is also usable when it's getting recharged. <coughs> so here's the thing. Try to always utilize the DC ports whenever possible and avoid doing something like this, which is less efficient. It would have to run that inverter to convert the DC power to AC, then charge the MacBook Pro. So always charge the MacBook Pro using the USB-C port here instead of running AC power. Although it can handle up to 300 watts continuous output, I believe the peak output is around 600 watts. And the build quality is excellent. It feels really rugged. Um, high quality plastic. Very strong handle. And anti-slip pads under the unit. The vents on both sides. And there are two additional US, uh, DC ports rated at 12 volts, 5 amps. So that's 60, 60 watts of ports each. Um, yeah. And here we got our time is uh, almost 100 hours. I believe that's because um, I'm providing input. Put it, I'm charging it at, at the same time. If I unplug the charger, so just by um, discharging at 60 watt, around 60 watts to the MacBook Pro, I will get about four hours. Four, I think this number will increase over time. Four hours um, charging up the MacBook Pro. It's around 80% of charge right now. So as a follow-up test, I may bring it outside and um, try to use the solar input and um, see how fast it would recharge. I'm wondering if these both ports can be used at the same time, as well as the USB-C port when I'm doing the solar recharging. Yeah, overall, a, a great uh, product, uh, feels quite solid. I love this huge display yeah, it blinks on the camera, but uh, to naked eye, it doesn't blink at all. Yeah, plenty of ports and nicely mapped buttons. And this uh, display button would be able to turn on and off this display. Probably doesn't consume much power uh, from the display. So yeah, I would just always leave it on, have a really nice readout. This is probably one of the best screens I have ever seen and all these layouts uh, I have ever seen across all the power banks I've tested, power stations, yeah. S large and nice. All right, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, I will uh, probably do a follow-up video on the solar charging um, of the Fantec using its solar panels.